Well, hey everyone, this is James from Mad River Homestead coming to you from the inside of our house today. And the reason is I want to share something with you that we decided to go ahead and do, and that is to get a freestanding gravity-fed water filter. Now, the model that we decided to go with is called the Berkey. We went with the three and a quarter uh, gallon. It's called the Royal Berkey. And uh, there's, you know, there's another one that we looked at called the English Berkfeld, which is, it's very similar. The, the reason we decided to go ahead and go with the Berkey is because each filter will filter a lot more gallons of water. Um, and I'm not the kind that keeps up really well with those things. And uh, so we decided to go with that one, just a, high, a lot higher capacity. And uh, we felt like it would fit our needs. They both, you know, filter out tons of contaminants. One thing about the Berkey is that you do, to filter out the fluoride, you do need to get a separate filter that goes underneath the black filter. But I would encourage you to just do your research, uh, figure this out on, you know, which one is going to work best for you. They, both of them have different sizes as well. Um, so, you know, do the research, figure it out. But I'm telling you, there's a lot of stuff in our water that just is not good for your human body. So, uh, let me, let me show you a couple of the reasons that we decided to go ahead and do this. So this is, uh, our refrigerator and it does use a filter that filter is right there and as you can see it is due for a change this light just came on while I was out of town but I don't know if it'll show up in the uh, in here but w when you're looking at this you can see these deposits on this this is after it's gone through the filter that's pretty bad Look at that. This came from water out of the refrigerator filter. That shouldn't be coming out, even out of the tap, let alone after it's been filtered. Whew. Now this is the one that really gets me though. So we use this uh, electric kettle to heat up our water in the morning. I use it to make my pour over coffee, and then we use it to warm for different things, right? I want you to see something. I don't know if you can see that really well, but there is white stuff in the bottom of this. I don't, you know what? I'm going to strain a little bit out and show you. Okay, so I just put some water in there and poured it into the strainer. And that is nasty. Look at this. Look, after I did it, look look at that big old chunk of it. I don't even know what this is, but do I want it in my body? No, no, I do not. So I think we've made the right decision. Um, I can't wait. I'm getting ready to put this thing together, but I'm not going to make you sit through the whole uh, thing of me putting it together. I'm sure it's pretty easy. The instructions seem pretty simple. Uh, so let me show you what it looks like in the box and then I'll show you what it looks like once I've finished. So we did decide to go with this stand, this countertop stand. It just lifts it up a little bit more off the counter. So when you're uh, getting water, you're not, you don't have to pull it out to the edge. These are the filters and yes, I got backups. These are the filters that will filter out the fluoride and the water. And, um, so this is the box that it comes in. And by the way, I went to the Berkey website to, uh, look at these and I, I don't even think they had any in stock of any of the sizes, maybe one of the smaller ones. Um, so we ended up going to Amazon and they had it available on there. So... I was very happy to see that same price as ordering it directly from the company, but you know, I have Amazon prime, so there's no shipping either. So this is going to be the lid. Um, this looks like, uh, the inside. Yeah, this is the top part. The filters will go, they'll, um, mount on here. I'm only going to use two. You can use up to four filters with this. But um, for it just being Margie and, and me, it just makes sense just to use two at a time. 
the more filters you use, the faster the flow you'll get. But with two people, and in fact, that it holds three and a quarter gallons, should be just fine with using two filters. Looks like that's probably the filters in this box. And I'm guessing that this is gonna be the bottom. So not a lot of parts. Shouldn't be too difficult to set up. That's where the spigot is gonna go. So I'd say it's about two feet tall, right at it. So I'm excited. I got the filter system assembled and I am doing a purge right now. So I filled it up with water. It'll go through those two black filters and then the, uh, the arsenic and fluoride filters are underneath. So it goes directly from these two filters through the fluoride and arsenic filters and fills up this lower chamber right here. It's been going about five minutes, maybe seven minutes, and that's how far it's gone. So probably take about an hour for it to go through the whole three gallons that I put in. Wow, that is amazing how much better that water tastes than what comes out of the tap. Okay, well, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I will tell you this water really is night and day better than what comes out of the tap. Made our coffee with it this morning. Even I could uh, tell the difference uh, between that and making it uh, how we used to. So. Uh, look into getting one of these. Like I said, do the research for yourself because they have different features um, and you'll want to make sure that you get the one that's right for you and your family. Uh, leave a comment if you could and let me know if you use one of these, what model you have, what you like about it, and uh, maybe what you don't like about it. And share those comments. Hopefully that can help some other people as well. So, Give me a thumbs up on the video if you could and subscribe if you haven't done that yet. And until my next video, God bless you and your family.